Hello guys, welcome to Namibia. It is bike maintenance day. I have been working on the Honda because she is not doing so well. But I thought it was a good idea to just update you on the tools. I've been on the road now for two years and I have uh, adjusted my tool set, my trail tool set, which is really lightweight and I can do everything on this Honda with this tool set. So I'm gonna run through it real quickly. I'm gonna put a list also in the subscription down below so that you can see exactly which tools to take for your Honda CRF 250L or just be inspired for another bike. You just need to bring the right socket sizes for your bike, but let's do it. So I'm gonna take it from the left here. First of all, a small ratchet. Then we have a Knipex plier. Then the main tool in the whole set, the T tool, plus an extension. Notice the length of the extension. It is more than half the length of the T-Tool and this one you need for taking out the spark plug and I also needed to remove my radiator guard. Then I have um, spanners, 7 millimeters, 8, 10, 12, 14, 17. Then I have these two, I do not remember what you call them in English, it's like an IKEA tool, a hex something, 5 millimeter and a long one that can be really really handy but I don't see the millimeters. Um, so actually I use this often to uh, push things out. For example, to get the tank uh, off, I always need it on this side here to push the bolt out uh, on the other side. Then there is a socket for the spark plug. This one is for Motion Pro and it's really cool because it is uh, magnetic. So it will pull up the spark plug, which is otherwise pretty damn difficult to get out the next thing is hex bits i have it in size eight six five four three and a really thin one i do not know what size it is um i'm sorry guys i do not know i don't even remember what i use it for but it must be some of my uh, aftermarket parts on the bike then i have four different sizes of screwdrivers flat i have two um, star screwdrivers um, then I have an adapter, this one I need for the T-tool in order to use all of these bits. Then I have a, a tiny screwdriver, I use it both for my glasses, you know, your reading glasses, if the little screw is falling out, then I can use it. I also use it for my trail stand uh, to adjust it in the height. Um, I have a very good knife, then I have sockets in size. It just says one fourth here. I'm not sure what this is for, but it's definitely needed. Otherwise, I wouldn't have it. Seven millimeters, eight, and I have two tens because you always lose the tens. Then there is an 11, 12, 13, 17, uh, 19, another 17. And this is a 14 millimeter hex, should be over here because it um, is needed for the front axle. The reason I have two of the 17 is because I have this crash bar here. And uh, in order to take that off, I need a 17 on both sides. Then I have an adapter that uh, can be used together with this lovely tool from Motion Pro. It is a tire lever, but it's also a wrench for the rear axle and I can put this adapter in this in that one and then I can use it for the front axle like that. All the tools from Motion Pro are super lightweight uh, and I really love them but they are also damn expensive. Um, from them I also have the Beat Pro uh, tire leaders with uh, beat breakers here in the end. I have the valve core puller which is so cool when you need to change the tire. I have the valve remover um, I have a small lightweight bicycle pump, it weighs 60 grams. Um, then I have a toothbrush for cleaning and a pencil for cleaning as well. That's it guys, that's all the tools I bring on my long distance trip. I can take the Honda completely apart with these tools. Besides these tools, of course, I have spare parts as well. I keep repair kits to fix a flat. I have extra oil filter, gaskets, I usually have air filter and all kinds of things to do normal maintenance on the road. 
but um, this was all about the tools. If you want to see a full walkthrough uh, that I did together with Joshua from Wetzlos Weltwärts, then click on this video here. And I will be seeing you in my next video. Ciao!